Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to study online and uh, welcome back to. I think today happens to be the last demo class, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, please do respond. Today happens to be the last demo class. Okay, I'll just tell it is uh, day five. Software testing day five. Software testing day five. Okay, please listen carefully to whatever I'll be telling in today's class. Uh, guys, today how many classes that I have taken for uh, manual testing? Could you respond in the chat box? I can't see your response in the chat box. Probably how many classes I have taken for manual testing? Uh, if I'm not wrong, four hours, that is uh, four classes is what I have taken. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's only four classes is what I have taken for manual testing, right? Guys, please be very quick in responding. So that I can just give you the clarity how the things will be taken care in the uh, upcoming days. How many classes I have taken for manual testing? Uh, don't make me to call your name. Please do respond. Guys, so uh, I'm audible. Trust me, if I don't see any response in the chat box, I'm going to end the session. No, no, I think you can. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think uh, you're not able to. <laughs> sorry, so I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, you, you can't chat, right? I think that particular option is disabled. Okay, I think now it, is that disabled? Oh, sorry, enabled. I'm really sorry for that. It's my bad. Okay, I think now you can. Okay, uh, totally four classes is what I have taken when it comes to manual testing topics. I think four classes I have taken. Now, let me do one thing. Let me just show you the brochure so that what's the upcoming plan, like how the course will be taken care. Everything I'll uh, guide you. When it comes to software testing, wait a minute. So I hope you have brochure, right? If I'm not wrong, yes or no? Correct me if I'm not wrong. You have brochure. Correct, right? Yes. Okay. Now, now, please tell me. Oh, let me just do one thing. Let me just, okay. I'll just tell course path. Something like that. I'll just tell course. I will tell. Okay. First, what are you going to learn from my side? Because it might be anything. Fine, when it comes to software testing, what is the first thing that you're going to learn? Because it need not to be from Sandesh. It might be from anyone. Whenever, if you want to learn complete software testing, fine, at that point of time, what do you have to learn first? Please do respond. Because that's what you people are learning from past couple of days. What you have to learn is what I'm asking. I'm not asking a very difficult question. Uh, first, always you have to learn software testing. Means you should make sure that you will learn manual testing. You will learn manual testing. You will learn manual testing. Is that fine? Uh, now, when it comes to manual testing, what will be there, sir, if you ask me? Uh, let me give you the basic clarity about what I'll be teaching in manual testing. Let me just come down. Okay. Uh, as of now, I think uh, this topic I'll do. Don't worry. Yes, it doesn't mean that in the same order I'll be doing. 95% I'll be doing in the same order. It depends from batch to batch. It depends on at what time I'm taking the class. Well, because I know what topic has to be delivered in which duration. <clears throat> now you have learned waterfall model. I think spiral model is what I'm going to do. I think you have learned uh, prototype. 
next after spiral model what i'll do i'll not do v and v as well as agile as of now why because in order to understand v and v and agile you should be having some clarity about testing that is the reason i'll be doing types of testing as a developer <clears throat> people will be doing white box testing sir what sir a developer will also do one type of testing sir yes that is only called as white box you people will be doing the complete black box testing as well as sometimes it might be gray box black box means test engineer testing that's it fine all these things will come under uh, developer that is uh, unit testing sorry uh, white box testing black box testing you people will do functional testing integration testing system testing user acceptance testing fine guys in detail what is required to become a manual test engineer or to become a automation test engineer is been covered in this particular content fine later there are around some 30 types of testing that i'll be teaching it will include every type of testing that is there so that in the interview you should not be in a situation like sir that testing they have asked sir you have not thought no like this it will never going to happen fine every type of testing i'll be teaching next testing techniques testing methodologies severity priority bug life cycle fine regression testing that's very important stlc like how you have learned yes dlc yes stlc fine let's come down uh, till here manual testing now if you ask me sir how many hours of manual testing content sir approximately i am going to write it depends on as i told whether i'll be giving the time to write down the notes in between the class or not if i don't give the complete time to write down the notes the content will be concluded within 35 to 40 hours is that clear for everyone please do respond in the chat box as i want you to respond 35 to 40 hours is what you will be learning okay i think it's uh, 100% uh, above 40 hours itself <laughs> but uh, i'll be writing 35 to 40 hours next as it might be plus 5 hours might happen never minus 5 hours for this end point okay after manual testing directly if you learn selenium trust me you will not understand now only i'm telling as after selenium if you learn manual testing sorry after manual testing if you learn selenium you will not understand that's the reason you tell me selenium is just a tool selenium is just a tool guys if i tell car car is a engine don't you think we have two variants in a car petrol car diesel car i think nowadays electric car is also there neglect that okay let's take electric car also fine it need not to be python and java there might be some other there are so many programming language where selenium will support but the prominent programming language happens to be python and java now either you can write the car that means before purchasing a car only you have to make sure that uh, Uh, what i can tell yes i'll purchase a diesel car i'll purchase a petrol car yes or no you have to make a mindset of that will you agree with my point as yes, you have to make a mindset of that right uh, now now if you take diesel car or if you take petrol car like that if you choose to learn selenium using java or if you choose to learn selenium using python for java people i'll be doing around uh, 60 hours of java content if you choose python selenium i'll be doing 60 hours of python content at that point of time what will happen how the timings will be timings will not be altered anyhow within 6 to 7:30 uh, i'll plan to do it you don't worry about uh, like python java i'll take care about that fine uh, next what sir once this particular java or python is completed fine ah uh, please don't think like until this is completed i'll not st start selenium no until this will be completed i'll not wait and one more thing what will be what you will be teaching sir if you ask me it might be java or python i'll not be teaching the framework of java and python which is not now not re required for a test engineer what will be teaching if you ask me 
Guys, when it comes to pure development Java, only core Java, advanced Java, we people will be teaching 140 to 160 hours. Same when it comes to advanced core, core Python and advanced Python for development purpose, we will be teaching 140 to 160 hours. But you people hate programming. That means I'm just kidding. Fine. As a test engineer, we need not to be aware of that much. Actually, 60 hours is more than more. Fine. Few people will do only 20 hours. Trust me, not even 20 hours they'll deliver. But just for the safer side, at least I want as a test engineer, you to be having some level of clarity about the code. That's the reason we will teach both core and advanced. But what I'll do, some of the topics, I'll not go in depth, which is not required for you. But I'll tell you, I'll teach you what is the topic. For example, let's take, uh, you also want exception handling. You also want exception handling. Fine. Okay. Let's take object orientation. Why exception handling? Yep. Let's take object orientation. Guys, there is a concept called as object orientation. Trust me, without you having a knowledge on object on the object orientation, you can't learn Selenium either in Java or Python. Fine. You should be having a knowledge on object orientation. But trust me, guys, when it comes to object orientation, it might be for Java object orientation or Python object orientation. I will be doing only this particular object orientation topic for 35 hours. I have done and I'll be doing for 35 hours for development Java. But for you people, I need not to teach you 35 hours, which is not never, never required for you. Fine. If I teach you around some 10 to 15 hours of object orientation, that is more than sufficient. Is that clear? Yes. I hope you're able to understand what is the plan for you people. Yes or not are you able to understand? Please do respond. Are you, are you able to understand? Okay. Next, when it comes to Selenium, I'll not wait until this particular 60 hours is completed, sir. Then what you will do, sir? What you will do, sir? If you ask me, listen properly, what I'll do. Selenium also 60 hours, Selenium also 60 hours. Okay. Now, after manual testing for Java people, I'll be taking Java for Python people. I'll be taking Python, but I would prefer someone to learn whichever you are comfortable. Fine. Either you'll be getting a job in Java Selenium or Python Selenium. It doesn't matter. Hundred percent you'll get. But whichever you feel comfortable, fine. The programming language. You just choose that and you just learn. Okay. Now, first manual testing has to be completed so that until manual testing is complete, I'll not uh, disturb you people regarding these two things. Later, what I'll do, I'll be starting with programming language. Let, let's write the name. Happens to be programming language. I'll tell the name programming language. I'll tell guys. I hope you'll be able to understand, right? Programming language has to be taught for 60 hours, 60 hours. What I'll do, what I'll do. Will that be fine? If I take, if I take, once I start programming language at that point of time, I will be taking two hours of class. Will that be fine for everyone? I'm asking you people. Will that be fine? <clears throat> As I'll ask you people where it, the timings will not affect your college time. That is college. I think you need not, you need to get ready for college. You need to get ready for work. Hundred percent. The timings will not affect. I'm going to ask guys, don't you think we have a time? Uh, what's the duration that I have told for the, uh, what I can tell, uh, the class. Please tell me what's the duration that I have told. No, no, I'm just, I'm just asking what is the duration that I have told <clears throat> six to seven thirty, right? Because until I complete manual testing six to seven thirty, uh, now listen properly until I complete 30 hours of programming content, 30 hours of programming content, the timings will be six to seven 30, six to seven 30 itself until I complete, uh, what I can tell 30 hours of programming. Once I got, I, I'll get a clarity that, okay, these people are able to understand some part of coding fine. Then what I'll do, if you ask me, let's, let's not, do you want me to take from six to eight or five thirty to seven thirty. You tell me not completely until I end a course. No, I think which is comfortable for you because please do respond. I, I want a response from your side. Now itself. So no, sir, please stick on to six to seven thirty, sir. That's fine. No issues after completing a programming language. I'll go for that. Okay. If not, what I'll do, if not, what I'll do, let's have a six to seven thirty time itself. Let's have a six to seven thirty time itself. Uh, at least, at least, can you give me the permission to take the class till maximum seven forty five? I'm asking you people. 
I'm asking you people. Can you give me 45 minutes? I'm asking for everyone. Okay, why, sir? What's the plan, sir? After 30 hours, what I'll do? I don't wait until 60 hours of uh, programming language will be completed. After 30 hours of completion, I'll start with Selenium from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll do Selenium 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Why? Because one hour of Selenium content has to be delivered. Net later, what I'll do? Parallelly, I'll be completing the programming language remaining 30 hour. That's it. Remaining 30 hour, I'll be com completing. Is that clear for everyone? Please do respond by taking the class from 7 to 7.45. 7.45. I hope it's clear. Uh, once this is done, once this is done, let's check on to the uh, regular time that is 6 to 7 a.m. Is that fine? Because hardly this is going to take around one month, one month or less than a month. Is that clear for everyone? Because I want you people to respond. Sir, no, sir, this is also not fine, sir. Then we'll do one thing, 45 minutes of Selenium, 5 minutes break, again 45 minutes of programming language. That's it. I think that, that works fine, right? The initial 3 days or 4 days will do like that. But anyhow, because it's purely up to your wish. Your wish means 100%. This is a fixed time. Plus or minus 10-15 minutes might happen or according to, if a single student is saying, no, sir, I'm not comfortable with other time. You please stick on to 6 to 7.30. I'll not take before 6, 6 o'clock. I'll not take after 7.30. Never. If a single student is asking after doing the admission, fine. Simply now if you tell, sir, don't, no, sir, don't take 100% and not listen. Once admission is done, at that point of time, I have to obey or I have to just follow your timings, right? But because before you joining the course, this is what I have told. Okay, great. So I hope you got the clarity, right? Yes or no? Uh, after this Java, Selenium, everything, what I'll do if you ask me? How many projects I have told when it comes to Selenium? Can someone tell me how many projects I have told? Because at least, uh, do you have the clarity? How many projects? Uh, Selenium content, Java content, if I show also, you will not understand. Then what is the use of me showing the content? Uh, in this particular Selenium, some of them are asking, Sir, will you teach framework, sir? Or only Selenium, sir. Only Selenium, if I teach, then what is the use of that? I will be teaching the frameworks. I will be teaching the frameworks. Like six frameworks are there. All the six frameworks I will be teaching. Similarly, I will be teaching a very important concept called as Maven. Because what is Maven? It is not Maven. <laughs> it is Maven. What is Maven? I will teach you. Fine. Because when it comes to six framework, TestNG will also be included. Everything. Fine. You can If you just go through the brochure, you will be able to understand. After Maven, what I'll do, I'll just teach you how to upload using Git to GitHub. The six real-time project, whatever you have developed. That's the reason what I'll do. This particular topic, this particular topic will be taught before teaching the project. So that you can upload once I teach the project. You, you can uh, play around with this. That's the reason. Uh, now, after Git GitHub, find what I'll be teaching if you ask me. Totally four real time projects, four real time projects. I'll be doing in the class. I'll be doing in the class. Uh, again, again, will that be fine if I give you two as an assignment? Two as an assignment. Please do respond. Guys, if you would have, if you are attending those four real time projects, trust me, you will enjoy and you will only do these two real time project that I'm going to give you as an assignment. Complete end to end. Uh, what I can tell requirement I'll give. The only thing is, if you would have understood this, easily you can write this lo logic for this. That's not a very big deal. I hope it's clear for everyone. Yes or no? So I hope you're getting the clarity, right? Uh, Selenium content, like how I write manual testing content, you'll not be able to understand. Then what is the use of that? Okay, okay, okay. Now, now one more very important thing you have to understand. This is, not, this, this is not only the content that you that I have to deliver for you people. Sir, what is the extra thing, sir? Oh, fine. Extra things, I'll just tell you. Uh, could you people please tell me what are the extra things that you have to be aware of? If you take or if you learn, if you don't learn, it will be included. You can't say like, sir, I don't want this, I don't want that, no. 
you will be learning front end technologies front end technologies i you know as a test engineer they they will not be asking any question but for your work it is required that's the reason i'll be teaching front end technologies for 30 hours front end technologies for i think 40 hours is what i can tell fine uh, 30 to 40 hours i will tell 30 to 40 hours i'll be teaching front end technologies next database technologies which, which is very important as a test engineer you should be having this knowledge database technologies how the data would be there fine that's also for 30 hours i'll be teaching and regarding if you are a fresher act guys it might be a fresher it might be a, a experienced candidate please tell me if you want to join any company i think nobody is working as a test engineer and nobody want to change your job role to selenium right if i'm not wrong if that is the case then aptitude question will not be asked if not if you apply for any company for act for as a fresher they might be if you are a fresher i'm damn sure they'll be asking you aptitude without aptitude they'll not conduct the interview it might be testing or it might be development aptitude is must and should maybe some companies might ignore aptitude but this is just a complete package that i'm giving you can't tell like sir please exclude front end database sir as for front end for front end itself few people will be charging 3000 5000 but i have given this complete thing for free of cost in my website itself similarly for database i have given for free of cost sir i don't want the one person uh, told me sir front end database i don't want sir i don't want sir i, I learn somehow sir i told from where you learn sir somehow i learn sir then i checked the attendance already he has learned front end database from study online guys don't try to be too clever fine don't try to be too too clever trust me i'm not charging amount for all these things i'm just charging the things for this is a fine then also you can't say like sir i'm a very good in manual testing sir i'm very good in java sir i'm good in uh, selenium sir please teach me that this then you have an option in our website you will not be entertained for live class you just do one thing you just go in the website just purchase if you want only manual testing you pay 5000 and purchase manual testing that's it if you want only selenium you will not be entertained for live class fine just go and uh, purchase only selenium for i think 12000 or 10000 but if you pay 14000 everything whatever i have included will come is that clear for everyone as please do respond i think you'll be learning around some 80 house of aptitude content because that's very important that's a very crit critical first round Okay, I hope you got the clarity regarding the path of the course, right? Yes, I hope you got the clarity regarding the path. Did you get the clarity regarding the path? I'm asking you people, did you get the clarity about the path? Because once I start that actual topic, don't worry. I'll be able to cover the portion, it doesn't matter. If I take extra one week also, I hope nobody will gonna scold me, right? As I told you, the course will be completed within three to four months. Fine. If I take extra one or two weeks, will that be fine? No, I'm telling not less hundred percent less will never happen. If I take extra one week or two weeks, will that be fine for everyone? At that point of time, you should not tell, sir, you have told exactly three to four months, but after four months also, you're taking extra one week. Fine. It purely depends on how you have cooperated in the class. That means whether you have responded, whether I have given the time, whether I took exact one and a half hour, whether I have taken one hour, 15 minutes, fine or one hour 45 minutes purely based upon that uh, now from monday from monday if you would have done the admission then only you will be allowed for the class will that be fine can i expect you to do the admission today or within tomorrow only two days of time is what i'm giving and many of them will be like sir it's uh end of the month sir we don't have amount sir in such cases, in such cases, yes, uh, could you people please tell me what is the amount for admission? At least you know the amount for admission. I don't know whether I have told for this batch or not. Did I tell you that? Yes, I respond. Did I tell you that? No. Okay. If I have not told, I'll tell you. Don't worry. I'll tell you. Why you will worry about that? Okay, observe properly. Let me just do one thing. Let me just display the 
text file called as admission.txt admission.txt okay please tell me whether it is visible or not 100 percent i'm gonna send you this in the community group whatever i have created when it comes to software testing the complete content whatever the brochure that i'll be sending fine for software testing all i'm telling it is not four to five months why because you need not to have a complete knowledge on development it will be three to four months three to four months is that fine okay the amount will be fourteen thousand. fine if you could find someone who is doing software testing for less than twenty five thousand in the market for the same content cover i'm doing please bring it to my notice i'll give this coach for free of cost fine and somebody might be like sir i'm interested in development also i'm interested in testing also sir fine i want to take uh, multiple chances for me if i get a job as a developer then i'll go for that if i get a job as a test engineer i'll go for that then if you take combo it will be 20000 fine i think many of them would have taken the combo trust me uh when it comes to software testing it is 14000 and i'm not asking you to do the complete 14000 in a single shot because i can understand it's a month end that's the reason what you have to do if you ask me first you have to make sure that you have to pay 4000 and get your admissions done if you have 14,000 in a single shot, you can pay and get your admissions and that's purely up to your uh, financial status. Fine. That means that's up to your wish guys. I'm not going to make any comment on that. But one thing 4k is much and should in order to do the admission part. Remaining 10k has to be paid within May first week. Is that clear? Please do respond. I want you people to respond. Uh, last day to do the admission will be 23rd. 23rd of April, that is Sunday. Monday onwards, strictly I'm going to close the admission for this so that it's anyhow for testing uh, what I can tell a morning slot. And I, I know many of them will be like, uh, sir, no, sir, it's very difficult, sir. Guys, it's a decision that you're going to take for yourself. Fine. I know it's very difficult to wake up in the early morning. Fine. Uh, guys, what's the season right now? What is the season right now? Is that winter, summer, or rainy season? What's the season right now? Trust me, trust me. Even though if you give 40,000, even though if you give 40,000, I'll not be taking the classes, the two morning classes, during pure winter season. The two during uh, December. I think during December and uh, January, it will be very cold, right? If I'm not wrong, yes or no? During December and January, it is very cold. Sir, why, sir, why you'll not be taking the classes, sir? Uh, why? Because usually I'll wake up early, fine, at uh, 5.36. Before 5.36, I'll be awake, fine. Uh, during winter season, I think uh, this is, it's not a habit. I don't know. It's, uh, uh, it's the thing that has uh, there for me from my childhood, fine. I don't know. It, it might be a, some issue or uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, if I wake up at 5.30, fine. During winter season, I usually I'll go for a jog or I'll just go for a walk, fine. Or sometimes if I get time, I'll just go for a gym. If I go for a gym, nothing will happen. But if I go for a walk in winter season, after coming back to home, once I start, uh, uh, what will call for? Uh, I think is that uh, what will call for that? Uh, I'm not getting. Yes, well, once I get cold in the morning, Trust me, it will be there for uh, at least one hour. Fine, I I will easily get cold. Fine, that's the reason I'm I'm not going to take a risk. During winter season, I'll make sure that I'll wake up at seven o'clock or seven to eight o'clock. I'll wake up. That's what my schedule during winter season only for the month of uh, December and Jan. Now, if you tell me to wake up at four a.m., also I'm ready because it's a uh, summer and nothing going to happen. That that much amount of cold breeze will not be there, even though if you go outside. Let's trust me, even I took a class for uh, one of the batch. Fine. For one of the batch, I took a class at 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Trust me. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. I took the class. As you tell me, purely depends upon your interest, right? I think there are few category of uh, people in uh, what I can tell. Uh, in some of the college, I have to give them the training. At that point of time, I was completely occupied with my schedule. But those people wanted me to uh, train them on Java for uh, uh, what I can tell. I think only Java is what they have asked. 
fine sir i want java sir till collections fine can you train me uh, by taking daily two hours uh, the complete that, that's the reason i told okay if you give me two hours yes i can train but my schedules are completely jam packed will that be fine if i take the class from 4 am to 6 am those people agreed i think uh, there were around some 70 to 80 people in that particular uh, class and i just took the training and i did it now i hope you got the clarity regarding the admission process how to do the admission either you can send it to my bank account or you can send via phone pay google pay paytm for this number now when i'm telling if you type wrong number and if you send for somebody else i'm not responsible please confirm once whether my image will come if you enter my phone pay number fine when it comes to uh, what i can tell bank account just send 100 rupees just take a confirmation from my side then just, just proceed once you do the payment either you send the screenshot to my whatsapp number or or to my mail id or to my mail id that is uh, sandesh hs 6460 at gmail.com when after the admission you'll be added for the respective slack group and you'll be getting access for the uh, live batch. I think I haven't spoke anything about this uh, when it comes to software testing classes. Fine. Let me speak. I think uh, today is the time that we will get. Uh, sir, what is that recorded content? Everything I'll teach you. Guys, going ahead, please don't think like or please don't assume like this fellow will give uh, what I can tell. Uh, YouTube videos. No, never. <laughs> never I'm going to give that. Only for demo class is what I'm going to give. Fine. Are you people able to see our website? www.studyonlinetech.com This is the website. This is the website. Now, if you click on sign up later, guys, you have to sign up. Sign up means create the account. Sign in. That means login for the website. If you just check the courses, if you just check the courses button, fine. See, like how I have created for Java full stack bundle, Python full stack bundle. Similar to that, similar to that. This is a, a previous than previous batch. So I'll be having, although I might have done so many batches, but in the website, the current upgoing batch and the previous batch video will be there. That's why, because even I have to update, right? If I keep the old videos, what is the use of that? Okay. Like this, I'll create a course and I'll be giving the access. Is that clear for everyone? Yes or no? Is that clear? For example, for example, let's get inside uh, Python. Let's get inside Python. Okay, see here, inside Python full stack, first I have started Python for them, fine, like this, like this, you will be having browser, day one video, day one notes, Man for, for example, for you people, manual testing, day one notes, day two notes, day three notes, day four, like that, once manual testing is done, next programming language, maybe Java, Python, next Selenium, like this, you'll be getting access in the website where you cannot screen record the video where you cannot download the video. If you try to do that, please do inform me. Why? Because we have built these things. Like how Amazon Netflix is using the end-to-end -end encryption. We are also using the same encryption by paying the amount. It's not in thousands. It's in lakhs. Trust me. Okay. I hope you got the clarity, right? Guys, did you get the clarity? I want you people to respond. Did you get the clarity? Guys, I want a quick response from your side. Did you get the clarity? Okay, great, great. I think this might take some time. Like, uh, I think this will take around some one week of time. Why? Because you want to have to segregate uh, after doing that mission. Okay, shall I proceed? So, that, guys, uh, I hope today what I thought. I thought of, okay, if you want to take the screenshot now, you can take the screenshot. Guys, even this is my WhatsApp number as well. Okay, if you want to take the screenshot of uh, this particular admission process, you can take the screenshot. Yeah, take the screenshot. Please take the screenshot. Okay, hope that you have taken the screenshot. Now, let's do one thing. Let's come back. Uh, guys, today I thought of talking about the course path. I have, I have thought. Could I thought of doing uh, talking about the admission process? Yes, I have thought. Next. I don't know whether I have discussed regarding. 
Now, it's one more very important thing. Many of them were asking, sir, is it a certified course? 100%. You will get a certificate, certificate after completion of the course. Is that clear? Please do respond. You'll be getting a certificate as well as you will be getting a placement assistance from our side. That means for placement activities, 100% will guide you. Because getting a job is not a difficult task. But what will happen, I'll tell you. In order to learn the complete course, assume that you would have invested three to four months of time. But what people will expect in that particular three to four months also, simply they'll attend the class. They'll not write the notes, they'll not practice. Simply they'll attend. That's it. Simply they'll sit in front of laptop. But simply if you watch the movie, <laughs> you might be able to understand the story. You might be able to understand uh, uh, the content of the movie. That's it. But you will not be able to direct a movie. As I hope. You're able to understand from which perspective I'm talking. Yes or no? Simply if you if you watch a movie, will you be able to direct a movie? Or will you be able to act in a movie? Simply if you watch a movie, no. There are a lot of extra things that has to be done in the background. Simply if you attend a class, which is of no use. You have to write the notes, you have to practice, you have to revise. Based upon the effort that you have put during this four to five, uh, three to four months, you might be getting a job before completion of a course, or you might get a job within one week of course completion, or you might take one month. Fine. That's the reason there is a separate team for that. They'll guide you how to apply for job in Naukri, LinkedIn, or in other social media. That is not social media, like other uh, platforms. Is that fine? That is job searching platforms. Let's trust me for a person with proper knowledge. I think three drives is more than sufficient to get a job. Maximum three drives is what you want, not minimum, maximum. If if, you were, if I would have taken mock interview for you people, and if I would have trained you like a gun, then trust me, three drives, that's it. Easily you'll be able to get a job. Is that fine? I hope you got a clarity regarding uh, and how to go for a company website, official company website, and how to apply for a job. That also will be thought. You need not to worry about that. That means course path I have told regarding uh, certificate I spoke, placement, admission. Is there any other extra thing that I have to speak? Let's put people, please do respond. Uh, if not, uh, I'm planning to speak about uh, something for five to 10 minutes, not more than that. Uh, please tell me, is there anything that I have to speak? There's another 10 minutes I'll be taking. That's it. Don't worry. I'll not be, okay, okay. Uh, when it comes to today's class, I thought of doing Selenium. Fine. If I start Selenium also, you'll not be able to understand the code. That's the reason. Okay, please tell me, is there anything that I have to speak? I want a quick response from your side. Because did I spoke regarding the difference of offline class and online class? I don't exactly remember. Did I speak the difference between online class and offline class? No, I'm just asking you, did I speak regarding that? No. Okay. Uh, just give me one, just give me one minute. I'll just display a diagram and let's speak five minutes about that. Okay, just give me one minute. I'm just trying to display the diagram instead of wasting both of us time to write the diagram once again. So for that also you have diagram, right? I think for one of the batch I spoke, the same diagram is what I'm going to copy paste. Uh, where is that screenshot that has been taken? I just know I took a screenshot. Uh, where is that screenshot? Pictures. Saved pictures. Okay. Screenshot. I think so many screenshots are there in my laptop. Need to segregate and need to uh, remove few things, which is not required. Just, just give me one minute. I don't know. Just know I have taken the screenshot, but it's not there. Dabba fellow. Okay. Wait. Uh, where is that? Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Oh, recordings okay. Python full stack. Yep. Okay, guys, just give me one minute. I'm just saving that. Uh, save as uh, desktop full stack course software testing. Yeah, let me just save it as this. Okay, no issues. Now, please tell me whether you people are able to see that particular uh, diagram or not. It's not a diagram. It's a discussion that we have to do. Okay, why? Because many of them will feel offline is better than online. For that, I'll, I'll just give you the clarity, guys. When it comes to offline, the trainer can monitor in a better way the students. The trainer can monitor the students in a better way. But always trust me, online is the best thing going ahead. That's the future. You tell me, guys, uh, if I take two and a half hours to deliver some content in offline, that content can be delivered within one and a half hour. Why? Because I'll not be giving the time to write the notes. Yes or no? Let's please tell me when it comes to offline class, I have to give the time. I have to erase the board. I have to go outside. I have to drink some water. I have to come back. All those things will be there in the offline class. I hope you would have seen. But online class, the same content can be delivered within one and a half hour. When it comes to offline class, trust me, it's waste of energy. Sir, why, sir, why it is waste of energy, sir? Why? Because you tell me, guys, if you're staying in Bangalore, fine. You, you, if, you, if the class time is 6 to 7.30, can you attend offline class? Please tell me, assume that I'll start an offline institute, fine. Uh, Marathalli, fine. Why? Because uh, I'll see, which is nearer for me. If I start a class in Marathalli, that is Bangalore, from 6 to 7.30, will you be able to attend? Guys, will you be able to attend? Guys, I'm just asking, just respond in the chat box. Will you be able to attend? Uh, if you stay nearby, you might be. But don't you think, minimum 30 minutes to one hour you have to waste in traveling. That in Bangalore, you know. And you'll, you'll, you'll not get a flexible time. Fine. Some, some, sometimes you might be missing the class because of some so-and-so issues. Uh, if you're traveling minimum 100 rupees per day, why? because minimum 20 to 30 kilometers is what you might be traveling. Fine. And daily you might be ha having some chats. Fine. And no offline backup class will be given. Again, if you tell them, sir, I missed today's class, please give me the backup. No, they'll not give. Just for the course, they'll be charging from 40,000 to 1 lakh for the same course, whatever you're doing. After engineering, if you're learning at that point of time, it might take around five months to learn from any institute. At that point of time, you have to pay the PG rent 8,000 per month. That means if you do this after engineering, guys, right now, if somebody would have joined this course after engineering, that's fine. I'm just saying for a student, if you join after engineering, don't you think you'll be jobless after engineering for five to six months, assume that you might be getting 30,000 per month. Don't you think you will lose 1.5 lakh if you don't have a job after engineering? That's what the mistake many of them would have committed. Please correct me if I'm wrong. During your engineering days, if somebody would have told you to learn, you will not listen. After engineering, somehow six months, you will not get to know how the time will go. After one year, maybe after six months, you'll, you'll rigorously start searching a job. But at that point of time, if you, if you don't get a job, after one year, you'll not be a fresher opportunities will start reducing for you. This is what will happen. Again, you'll not think about uh, getting knowledgeable and trying to search jobs. Simply, you'll, you want job, 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 job. That's it. Apart from job, you'll not think about what has to be done in order to get a job. Uh, that means if I calculate for five months, fine. Let's take five months or six months, five months only. If I take you, please tell me guys, 13,000 rupees is what you have to invest in traveling. In order to eat chats on a daily basis, where if you are visiting offline institute around 4,000, let's take around 60,000 for a course that you might be paying uh, next. 
8,000 per month. That means PG rent. If you don't have a job, then 1.5 lakh, you will be losing indirectly. Approximately, you will lose 2.5 to 3 lakhs upon yourself. If you try to go for offline, might be more than this, it might be less than this. But when it comes to online, the only thing that you have to invest is no waste of your energy. Sir, why, sir? Guys, if I'm talking for one hour or if I take the class for one and a half hour, is that your energy or your effort or is that trainer effort, trainer energy? You tell me, whose effort is that? Because although you have to attend the class, that, that's, that, I, that I can understand. But whose effort is that? In one and a half hour, if you want to attend the class, is that trainer effort or student effort? Please tell me. Because I want you to respond in the chat box. Is that trainer effort or student effort? If you think student effort, 100% no. It's like, sir, uh, they did Bahubali film for two and a half hours, sir. They did this film, sir. We will go for theater, sir. Equivalent effort, sir. Three hours movie, they'll be showing. Three hours movie, we'll be watching. No. It's not like that. Trust me, if you're attending the class, it's a pure effort of a trainer. Afterwards, writing the notes, it's your effort. Practicing the thing is your effort. Revising, it's your effort. It's not my effort at that point of time. I cannot make you to uh, write the notes. I cannot, that means I cannot hold your hands. I cannot make you, I cannot hold your hands and make you to type the program. That's, that should come out of you. Fine. That means you have a flexible time. That means if the class is from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., if you wake up at 5.45 also, that's fine. You can just fresh up yourself and you can start attend attending the classes, right? And as soon after 7.30, you can just start your day. Because I hope you have a flexible time. And even though if you miss the class because of some so-and-so reason, it might be any reason, you'll be getting a recorded class. Instead of paying this much amount, just pay 14000 and get the admission. That's it. But one thing I would recommend this. Many people, I don't know what kind of consciousness they'll be having in their life. If they go for KFC or Pizza Hut or Burger, they are ready to pay 1000 rupees, 500 rupees for one meal. But in order to update themselves, they'll not be having a proper Wi-Fi connection in their home. Let's just inform your parents or just get, get, get the things done. Why? Because it's the investment that you're putting on yourself. If you have one GB of mobile internet and uh, I think if you're attending the class in the morning slot, that well and good. 100% uh, you'll be having that, uh, what I can tell, GB quota. Fine, like one GB. But don't rely on your mobile internet. That's what I'm saying. Because nowadays in village also, Wi-Fi connection will be available. Yes or no? Yes, trust me, yes. Trust me, yes. I'm not saying no. 100% yes. In village also, somehow you can get a Wi-Fi connection. It's not a very big deal. Guys, you have to think about alternative solutions. That's it. If you don't have a proper Wi-Fi, just get a dongle. That's it. Just try to have some alternative base. But if you are in a proper city, and I think everybody will be there in city now. I think starting from 500, 700, 800, 900, 1000, you will be able to get a Wi-Fi per month. That is Wi-Fi. I think that's a decent 50 Mbps or 30 Mbps or like 20, that is sufficient. If you have 20 Mbps, that's more than sufficient. Just go with the uh, basic plan. I'm not asking you to have, uh, uh, what I can tell, 500 Mbps or 300 Mbps, no. Just I'm asking you to go with the basic plan. That's an initial investment. If you want to attend the online class uh, without any disturbance, then if you want to practice the things without any disturbance, then just go with the, what I can tell, a proper Wi-Fi connection. Because later, if I see somebody telling like, sir, Yesterday till midnight, 2.30, I have watched the movie, sir. My uh, internet is gone, sir. Today, I'll not be able to attend the class. As trust me, those excuses are not the, what I can tell, professional thing to say. That's the reason. Just have a proper Wi-Fi connection. That's it. As I hope you understood the difference between offline and online. In your home, in your comfort zone. And one more thing I forgot to tell. If you go to offline institute, don't you think you have to take a bath? Maybe if you are a <laughs> disciplined person and you have to get ready, don't you think at least it will take half an hour to get ready? I'm speaking about men. I think for women, minimum half an hour, maximum it might go up until one and a half hour. But because many people will be coming for offline, let me get properly ready. Fine. Here, you need not to ready. Maybe in your home attire, you can sit, you can attend. But what I would request you is, I think in everybody's home, if you have a separate room, well and good. If not, please make sure that you will sit in a place where there will be no disturbance for you. Is that fine? 
Is that clear for everyone? And one more very important thing I would like to tell. It's okay. Let, let your parents listen to the class what I'm taking. Please don't use headphones or earphones. I would not recommend you to use that. If you use that, that's fine. Guys, daily I will watch three hours movie, sir. Nothing has happened, sir. Guys, it's a long-term effect that might be happening for you. If you watch a movie using headset or via headphone, Bluetooth headphone, whatever it may be, try to avoid that. Guys, I'm just saying, take precautionary methods. That's it. Is that fine? If you're attending the class, just put it in the loudspeaker. That's it. Guys, it's not our 20 minutes of meeting that I'm conducting. It's a one and a half hour class that I'm conducting. That's the reason. Please make sure that even though the, my voice is audible for every of your family members, it doesn't matter. I'm going to teach only the technical content. I'm not, I'll not be speaking something and all. Fine. Let them listen. No issues. Fine. Let your uh, neighbors listen my voice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fine. That too, in the morning uh, session, if they are listening, it will be like an alarm for them. Just, just make sure that you'll not be disturbed with that. That's it. Okay. Because I hope everybody got the clarity. Did you get the clarity? I want you to respond in the chat box. Did you get the clarity? Please be very quick in responding. Did you people get the clarity? Okay, now tell me which is best online or offline? Let's see how many of them will tell the proper answer. Which is best guys, online or offline? Because when it comes to offline, I'll tell you what is the extra thing that will drive. Fine. You will be in front of the trainer where you cannot misbehave or we can, where you cannot excuse yourself. Maybe in the online class, if you're getting asleep, you'll close your laptop, you'll go for sleep. In online class, if you're hungry, maybe you, you might be, uh, what, like uh, listening to the class in between, you'll just go to your kitchen and you'll just come back. Those those things can be done in online, but offline you cannot do it. Fine, everything will be monitored by a trainer. Fine, but if you have interest, and if you get a proper trainer who can deliver a proper content in online, Trust me, online is the best go. Okay, fine. Uh, let's do one thing, guys. Let me just halt the technical discussion here. That means I, I think I haven't spoken anything technical. Uh, guys, when it comes to day five, I'll start with the actual topic from Monday. Uh, yeah, now, actual topic means continuation of manual testing. Is that clear for everyone? As I hope I spoke about course path, certificate, placement, admission, as well as why online is the best go. That's what I have spoke. Trust me, online is the future. Trust me, online is the future. Sir, why, sir? When you join any company, you will not be having a time to go for an institute to learn something. You have to learn via online. Guys, trust me, one of the technology, fine, when I joined uh, uh, my company like a couple of years back at that point of time, trust me, it was not my subdomain. My expertise are Python, Java testing, fine. They just told me to learn, Sandesh, you have to learn uh, Azure, fine. Trust me, they have just given only one week of time. That's it. That too, not during the office hours. Fine, during office hours, two hours is what I have given. I have to invest my non-working hours to learn that. Within one week, I have to learn. There is no choice. Why? Because they'll be paying me in lakhs, right? If they're paying lakhs together, I have to follow what they're telling. That's it. No choice. As I said, isn't going ahead. You have to stick on to online mode of learning. Fine. Thank you so much. Let me just hold a technical discussion. We'll meet on Monday. I want everyone to do the admission today itself. Don't wait until tomorrow so that it will be easy for me to segregate the things. First come, first serve. That's it. Thank you so much for attending the classes from Monday till today. Have a great day. Monday we'll meet. Okay. I'll not, I need not to take the attendance. Uh, I think uh, the people who have attended uh, yesterday, same people are there in the class. I think there is no, is there anybody who's attending today? Today is the first day. Is there anybody? So today is my first day, sir. Is there anybody? I hope no, right? I hope no. But because I have seen the names, those who are attending. Okay. If you're attending today is your first day, just ping me in WhatsApp so that I can just take your attendance manually. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. We'll meet on Monday. Bye-bye.